You are going to hit your goal in 2024, in the second half of this year. That's right. You're going to hit your goal for the second half of this year. You know how I know? Well, because you have a goal, and that's half the battle, right? But what else is going on out there? Well, we've got the weather, we've got the election, we've got the industry changes, and what are they all conspiring to do? Create uncertainty. So my job here with you today is to remove the uncertainty and get the odds going in your favor. You know, what's the weather gonna do? Well, it's gonna do what it's gonna do. And politicians, they're gonna be politicians. And as far as the industry changes, yes, yeah, stay up to date with them and then learn what it is you have to do and apply your selling skills to it. That's how you're gonna hit your goal. But this all begins with the calendar. And then five things that will ensure that you hit that goal. So you count up the days between July 1st and December 31st, and I've already done it for you, it's 182. That's right. Now some of them may have gone by already, but you count up the days, and how many of those days are you going to work? Oh, well, looking at the calendar, what's there? That's right, back to school and Labor Day. Oh, and Columbus Day. Oh, and uh, um, Halloween <laughs> and Thanksgiving and Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all the religious holidays, Christmas and New Year's. And you're not going to work all of those days. So how many days are you actually going to work if you're able? And take that as your baseline and then do these five things. First, what's the one controllable, trackable activity you can schedule during those work days? If you've done the income to activity converter, you know, you know your ratios. How many conversations do I need to have so many leads, to have so many appointments, to get the listings and make the sales and earn the income? It's the conversion down to the one controllable, trackable activity. That's where it all begins. And then you insert that into the days when you're going to work. Now, I'm guessing that one of those things that you control and track is prospecting. So how do you make yourself make more calls, prospect more efficiently, more effectively, more consistently? Well, there's only one way that I know of, and that's to develop reliable, dependable 590-10 prospecting partners. But Mike, I don't have any. Well, go to the Facebook page for R Squared Coaching or Floyd Wickman team and put up there that you want dependable, reliable 590-10 partners. You'll get lots of volunteers because prospecting consistently will be the second key thing to make sure you hit your goal. And here's the third, return to Smart Week and top five things to do today. Now, what does Floyd say about when do you need Smart Week? He says you need it when you need it. And folks, we need it more than ever right now. When the going gets tough, the weak get going and the tough get back to the basics. There's nothing more basic outside of having conversations than planning your weekly activity in advance and then sitting down once a day with the to-do list and looking at it and thinking, what's the most important things that are gonna get me to hit my goal? and you write them down and you work on them. Remember, top producers consistently work the highest priority activities. And number four, return to a consistent morning routine that does two things for you. The first is it helps you visualize your goal, to send that picture out into the universe, to see it, because that's how you believe it and that's how you create it. And the second thing it does is it gives you guidance. If you go back to the Master Sales Pledge and its foundation, that affirmation Floyd received, I will always be guided to do and say the things that contribute to my success. Anything that happens, happens in my best interest. Well, where does that guidance come from? It comes from you going in and asking for it in silence, first thing in the day, in your morning routine, when you center yourself. That's where that guidance comes from. It's almost supernatural. And then the fifth thing is to create weekly accountability that does three things. You report your activity and results. You measure your progress toward that goal because unless you're experiencing measurable progress, it's really harder to stay motivated. And the third thing it does, it re helps you remove the challenges, problems, and obstacles through masterminding with like-minded people. 
So let me review the five things that will make sure you hit your goal second half of this year. Number one, take the one controllable trackable activity and schedule it. Number two, develop reliable 590-10 prospecting partners. Number three, return to the discipline of doing your smart week religiously every week and your top five things to do every day that you work. And don't forget to take a day off. Schedule it and take it. Number four, return to that consistent morning routine where you visualize your goals and ask for and receive guidance. And finally, number five, create weekly accountability where you report your activity and results, where you measure progress toward that goal, and where you remove challenges, problems, and obstacles. And doing those five things, I guarantee you are going to hit your goal.